everybody. Welcome back to AcMyForever.com. Uh, today I want to show you how to rename your application name in Xcode Edge. The Xcode Edge is update and uh, different from Xcode 7. And it's very easy to rename your application. And this is something uh, about like more performance and I think Xcode 8 is very powerful you can test it and go to download in the app.com and today I want to show you how to rename your application very quickly and easy to rename it okay now check the original name on your project when you run your application the first time, you now rename your application already. You will see your original app, your original name, the same as your project name. Okay, now I phone seven. I attend. Okay, now you go to. As you can see. Rename IS. Ah, oh. but I don't like. I don't want to use the name of my project, so I want to rename my application to other name, different from my project name. So, what we need to to rename your application name, you need to. You need to go to the project and then you will see the general tab and then identify and as you can see display now in Xcode 7 it's not how this field that you can rename like this if you want to rename the application your application you need to go to info and change the the application name in product now as you can see but in Xcode is it very easy that you don't need to do that you just go to general and identify display now and you can put your favorite name I your application name right here right okay for me I want to example lovely app okay I want to rename my application to display to this name lovely name so I want to run and I will see the new name in my application below my icon application okay okay and now i want to stop that stop application and i will see okay here we go and uh, this is my new name of my application that is very easy and very quick in xcode 8 apple that built this tool this export it to help the developer easy more than Xcode 7. Okay, this is the letter bit so about Xcode 8 and hope you enjoy this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel. And the next video I want to show you how to use the privacy permission in Xcode 8. Also in Swiss 3 that Apple just released that this is the new feature and more security in your application like you want to access your camera or your photo gallery in Swiss 2 we, we don't need to put the permission in your application but in Swiss 3, you need to put your permission 
in your application first. If you don't do that, if you are user using IS10, your application will cross when it launch your application. Okay, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And see you next video in permission in iOS 10 and also in Xcode H. Thank you, good luck. Thank you.